In this video, I'm going to show you how to create advanced bar chart. In this bar chart, you can see product name on the top of the bar along with the total sale after the pipe symbol. In our classic bar chart, it's very hard to read the data label because they are in multiple line and also we need to go back and forth to read our actual value. So in this video, I'm going to show you each and everything to create this amazing bar chart. Consider we have this blank data sheet. The first thing we need to create a helper column and I will simply rename it data label. The next thing we need to apply a very simple text join and text function. I will simply click equal text join open parenthesis. What is the delimiter? In this case, my delimiter is pipe symbol. Simply type quotation mark space pipe symbol space again quotation mark hit comma. For the ignore parameter, just leave this parameter for now. And for the text one, simply click on B1, hit comma. And for the text two, simply apply a text function. Open parenthesis. What is the value? In this case, my C2 is the value, hit comma. And for the format, simply type quotation mark, dollar symbol, zero. And simply type two comma, dot, zero. Quotation mark again, close parenthesis for text function and simply write end percent quotation mark space M quotation mark again, close parenthesis for text join function and simply hit enter. Now this will create dynamic data labor for our chart. I will simply drag this formula down. The next thing I will select product name and sale total. Click on insert recommended chart in this case i will select the first bar chart and simply hit ok i will increase the height of this chart a little bit more the next thing i will click on my vertical x axis click on home and for the font size i will simply sit one hit enter and for the font color i will choose white font color the next thing I will simply click on my chart, hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. This will duplicate our series. I will click on my first series, click on plus icon, click on data label, more options, data label, label options, and I will simply uncheck value and click value from cell and select my data labels. Simply hit OK. For the label position, I will click inside base and now I will click on properties. I will simply uncheck warp text in shape and for the lift margin, I will set zero. This will make our data label as much as possible to the lift side. And now I will simply click on my first series again, click on format. For the shape outline, simply select no outline. For the shape fill, simply select no fill. Now I will click on my second series. And for the gap width, I will simply choose zero. And for the series overlap, this is up to you. In this case, let's say I'm just going to increase the value and look at the chart. When they overlap with my bars, I will leave it. So till 28, my text is not going to overlap. So I think this is much better. The next thing I will click on my vertical grid line and simply delete and I think better we need to delete the X axis. Now you can do a little bit more formatting like click on data label, click on home, increase the font size, make it bold, click on each bar, click again and go to format and choose some color. Let's say in this case, I'm just going to choose this color and you can simply do this for each and every bar manually. Now the next thing I will click on my chart, click on format, click on properties and select don't move or size with cell. Now I will right click on my data label column, simply hide this column. Everything is gone. What is happening? Simply select the chart, click on chart design, select data, hide an empty cell and simply check show data in hidden rows and column. This is how you can create this advanced bar chart. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. If you have any specific question, just write me comment. Thank you so much.